Hi, hello and welcome to Designer by Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add supplemental programs that add cool features like QR code, timers, surveys, video player, word cloud and many more. And it's all in your PowerPoint slides using add-ins. Let's see how to get the add-ins first. Go up to the insert menu and select get add-ins. This opens up a box. Here you will see all the supplemental programs that can be added to your slide. When you find a program, click the add button next to it. You will now see it under my add-ins. I have five examples to show you how to use these add-ins. All right, let's get started. Imagine you are marketing for a product or an event and you want your audience to come and see your digital content or join an online meeting, right? You add a URL for them to visit. When this URL is short, it's easy to remember. But when it's lengthy, the easiest way to share it is using a QR code. I have already added few programs from the big list. And here I have one for QR code. You may click here or the other easy way is PowerPoint makes it available as a drop down. You select it from here and this opens up the feature pane for you to key in the URL. You may also use it to share your email address or phone number. For the URL that I have, I select HTTPS and add the rest of the URL here. You will see that the QR code has been created for the URL. It also provides option to change the QR code color and its background. Select the color of your choice and finally click insert. Let me position this here. To make it look better, I'm going to add a border and a text so that the audience know what to do. To scan this QR code, simply pick up your phone, open the camera app and go over the QR code. The QR code is read and prompted to proceed. When you select it, it takes you to the web address or the URL. Next example. Imagine this event to be a spelling bee workshop. What makes more sense in this slide is an image with lots of words, like a word cloud. Let's go to the add-ins window and search for the word cloud program. Here it is. Let me click add. Now this gets added to my add-ins. Now click add and continue. This opens up the feature pane. To create a word cloud, it needs a list of words to use. I'm going to simply select this paragraph. Then from the pane, select the font and style that you want to use. Once selected, click word cloud button. You see the word cloud has been automatically created by the program. Now click on the image and paste it on your slide. If you are not satisfied, you may select the word list and click regenerate word cloud. What this does is every time you click on regenerate the word cloud, the positions of the words keep changing in the word cloud. Let's say you are conducting a workshop online and want to break out for lunch. A slide like this will do the job, but what would be cool is to add a timer so people will know when to return. I found the add-ins for timer that I can now select from the drop-down menu. One thing that you will notice with the add-ins program is this little button. This provides basic functions like reload or delete or even uh, making it as a picture. This timer has a cool feature that allows you to select an image for your situation. Let's say you want to break out for 45 minutes. You just key in that. Let me position this properly. Now hit start button for the timer to get going. This works even in your slideshow mode. You can notice here, once the timer is on, the buttons vanish until you mouse over. 
Imagine while you are doing your workshop, you wanted to play a video for your audience right from your slide. That's our next example. To embed a video player. From the insert, my add-ins menu, select the program. This allows you to play video from YouTube or Vimeo website. Let me find a video from the channel. Let's say 3D pop out or maybe creating a custom shape. Let me copy the video URL and paste it here. This program allows you to play just a portion of the video by keying in the start and end time. I'm going to key in the timing when this video plays how to draw a bird. All right. Once done, click set video. Now you will see that the video started right from the start time that we provided. In presentation mode, when you move over to this slide, the video automatically gets started and it will stop when the end time reaches. Isn't it cool? Okay, let's say you are done with your online workshop and wanted to have a question and answer session or say collect feedback from your audience instantly. There is an add-ins for that too. Select from drop-down or from get add-ins. I have signed in already, so it displays like this. Let me click log out. When you select this add-ins for the first time, it would display the login page for you to create an account. Once created, you can log in to see the screen. Here, click on new activity. This opens up a bunch of options for you to collect the data or make it more interactive with your audience. For this example, I'm going to select Q&A, type in my question and hit save. Let's begin to collect response from the audience. To do that, select your question and activate it. The program provides you with an URL that you can share with your audience. I can hear your mind voice. Why don't they show up a QR code, right? All right. When your audience visits this URL, it prompts them to add a name and they can start answering the question. And if you see, as soon as they submit their answers, it immediately gets reflected on your slide. When you're done collecting the response, click the activate button again to stop. This deactivates the poll page. Before ending the session, I want you to check out all the supplemental programs that are out there. There are add-ins that provide emojis, symbols, and even beautiful pictures for your slides. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do leave a thumbs up and subscribe to Designer by Design for more such useful videos. See you in another video. Bye now.